Hello and welcome to another episode of Marketing for Your Future. I'm your host, Cindy Ashton from the Daily Ad Brief, coming to you from New York City and coming to us from Chicago, Illinois. Today, we have the fabulous AJ Rivera from CMO Engage. Hello, AJ, and welcome to the show. Hello, Cindy. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. We're so excited to have you. Now, tell us a little bit about your business. Yeah, so my business is a marketing consulting firm. We offer advisory services, mostly in the B2B space, some tech, some wellness, Um, but really those companies that are just starting to grow and maybe have some existing parts of their marketing team, but don't have an overall strategy or direction and they're ready to scale up. So we really help owners and executives get their head around a marketing strategy so that they can uh, start hitting their outcomes even faster. So AJ, where do you find when it does come to hitting outcomes, where do you feel is the top mistake that people are having in terms of reaching those outcomes that they desire? For sure. Um, Yeah, when it comes to mistakes and the biggest ones that we see is often a lot of people um, paying attention to vanity metrics. So things like impressions or follows and not measuring the things that matter as much like customer lifetime value, customer acquisition cost, um, the things that actually drive the business. So um, those have been some of the bigger things I've seen, especially in the digital age, where sometimes we equate followers into dollars, but that may or may not be the case. I am so with you. It's great to have fans, but it really comes down to, do those fans actually buy from you? Otherwise, you're just... um, it's just vanity, as you've said. So when it comes to yes. customer or client acquisition, what do you think is the missing piece? Where do you think that people are really missing? Like, what's that one strategy that people are missing? Yeah, when it comes to um, customer acquisition, the thing I often see in the marketing space right now is either you have the focus on vanity metrics or the focus on like super hard lead generation with no thought of the customer journey. So really thinking about the customer journey holistically is going to drive your customer lifetime value up while also driving your customer acquisition costs down. So that seems to be the most impactful thing we found um, with our clients is that really mapping your customer journey and knowing who you're marketing to and when. Well, that makes a lot of strategic sense, AJ. (laughs) So when, when it comes to the marketing world, there's so much changing in every second. Where do you see marketing going in the next two years? Where, what's your predictions? Yeah. In the next two years, when it comes to my predictions and what we're preparing for already, is we're seeing a lot of demand generation um, starting to matter more and more and more. I think um, in the last decade, uh, we saw underpriced media costs on Google, on Facebook, on Instagram. Or these are these are all the same things. But for the those the layperson who may be listening and or watching, we've seen kind of like, oh wow, we're really underpaying for media here, and the market is starting to balance out a little bit. It's still cheaper than traditional means, but I'm starting to see and I. I believe we're going to need more demand generation, more content, more meeting people where they're at and kind of uh, kicking them along the customer journey. Yeah. So when it comes to content, because content is so important, they say content is king, Mm -hmm. but if the content does nothing, it's really not. So what's one, one tip or strategy you can give our audience around delivering really great content that actually engages your ideal clients? Sure. So if you want to deliver really good content that engages your ideal clients, one of the best things you could do is ask your existing customers or document the questions they're already asking. So that way, instead of you presuming or throwing stuff on the wall and seeing what sticks, you're actually marketing based on user feedback and their experience and the actual challenges. Um, Another really easy thing would be to do interviews with people or partnerships. Those um, are very good ways for getting marketers in their zone of genius without having to reinvent the wheel. They can respond to questions. They can respond to different cases and and, uh, show their expertise. Fabulous, AJ. Thank you so much. You've done such a remarkable job of jamming pack and so many great insights into five minutes. Thank Thank you. you so much for being on the show today. Thank you. Absolutely. I appreciate you having me on, Cindy. 
<laughs> Absolutely. And for those of you watching, thank you for tuning into yet another episode of Marketing for Your Future. If you would like to connect with AJ, please go to dailyadbrief.com and we will see you on another episode very soon. Simplify presents addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.